dollars per month, exclusive badges depend on how long you've been a member, exclusive emojis, and a shout out at the end of every single video. There's also a link to buy me a coffee in the description if you're interested in that as well. So just letting you guys know all of that at the start of the video. So yeah, I'm gonna try not to ramble too much because it just, it just takes too much time and like people don't like too much talking at the start of the video and as well as um, then I just have to end up listening to it and cutting it out which just takes me more time so there's no point doing that and takes more time when I'm filming if I'm just gonna cut it out anyway so sometimes I'm just cutting some more ramble out before I upload the video but yeah first video I'm gonna be doing today or this video is gonna be a facts video I found some lists that I don't think I used before I wanted to get more just random facts in general videos which I think were my ones doing best but I just didn't have any more lists to look at I did another one the other day but that was for members only so this is a general one on the channel so yeah we're starting off with this list, 60 weird facts most people don't know, and as with last, for the last few times I was doing my videos, I'm going to try and speak slowly when reading, and it says, prepare to have your mind blow in, so, weird and fun facts you might not know, dive deep into the realm of the truly bizarre with our collection of weird facts that'll make you do a double take, we've scoured the globe, delved into history, and peeked into the peculiar corners of science to bring you this compilation of weird, fun, and crazy facts. And when it said flamingos, I was reading like uh, the sort of list to see if they sounded familiar to what I did before when I saw flamingos. I was like, oh, is this going to be the flamboyance then? Uh, but no, it's different. Flamingos bend their legs at the ankle, not the knee. Also, ap apologies if I have done it from this list before. I believe these are completely new lists. Firstly, some of the dates they were written on, the articles seem to be, you know, after I've recently filmed a fax video as well as they just look different and it shows you on your computer if you've clicked into them before, etc. Like, not the most, you know, best way to to determine that, but, you know, um, and also apologies if I seem tired, I am, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have an iced coffee after I do this video, my typical thin, even in winter, uh, they essentially stand on tiptoe, their knees are closer to the body and are covered by feathers, this is just the first of many weird facts to blow our minds, and when I say that, that about iced coffee, I don't mean it's winter currently, I mean even all through winter I would have iced coffees. Uh, roller coasters were invented to distract Americans from sin, and when I was looking at the list, I did see that, I was like, that sounds interesting or weird. So, in the 1880s, Oisier, uh, businessman Lamarcus Thompson hated that Americans were tempted by hedonistic places like saloons and brothels. So he set out to straighten up one of the most immoral places he could think of, Colney Island in New York. There he built um, America's first roller coaster to give New Yorkers some good, clean fun away from seedier pastimes. Oh, okay. When it says hedonistic at first, I was like, um, like, is an hedonist like where you enjoy being happy or like you're selfish or something what is it pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life because i'm like the whole point of going to a theme park is that it's pleasurable you know it's fun so that is you know uh about pleasure you know it's not like for a greater purpose etc <laughs> but still um ice pops were invented by 11 year old by accident. And I feel like we've done this one before, but I'm gonna say it anyway. So, in 1905, an 11-year-old boy named Frank Epperson left soda powder and water outside with his wooden stirrer still in the cup. The mixture had frozen in the chilly nighttime weather, and so the Epscall was born. He sold the truth treat around his neighborhood and a nearby amusement park, and even patented the recipe years 
years later he changed the name to Popsicle uh, because that's what his kids called their pop Pops concoction. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But I, that's actually smart that he patented that and all of that. I feel like other people would just steal his idea and, you know, he can't no credit, etc. So, sloths can hold their breath longer than dolphins can by slowing their heart rates. Sloths can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. Dolphins need to come up for air after about 10 minutes. And I'm joking that, like, if you were an animal, which would you be? I'm like a sloth because I'm lazy. I say lazy. After I'm talking about running loads, I do go for runs, etc. It's semi-recent. Then, like, I've been running for a good few years. Um, but, you know, not, not, not as consistently, just kind of random. Two or three, like, seven to eight Ks or something, or six to eight Ks, five Ks, whatever, around, and I just started taking it a bit more seriously when I was doing the marathon plan. Before that, I was doing a 10 K plan, though, just because I really wanted to sub 60 10 K, but, um, it wasn't, like, I wasn't doing it week to week, the plan. There was, like, five runs a week on the plan, so the plan was taking me forever, because I only did, like, three a week or something. I just really wanted the double run, like, the two days in a row, but it's fine. I get used to it now, like, today's my second day, and I'm like, I'm ready for not, or not a run tomorrow, so that's why I really didn't want to have to do three in a row, if I didn't do one Monday. Um, but, yeah, because I do, I do love lying on the couch with the blank, my, the blanket, a hot water bottle, watching TV, etc. Uh, I love the couch. <laughs> Everyone, other people's places, like the chair, I'm the only one who will really, like, go on the couch. Except when there's like more people in the room, because we rarely like all watch TV together. Um, so a woman uh, was elected to Congress before women's suffrage. Yeah, we did do this just the day by camera. Which video it was? I'm filming so many these days, especially when I batch film, etc. American women were given the right to vote in 1920, but Jeanette Rankin became the first woman in the U.S. federal office in 1916. Fruit loops, loops are all the same flavor. No point eating around the purple ones. All fruit loops taste like um fruit, other than the wild berry fruit loops, of course. And it's spelled like F O or O O T, which I'm sure you you know. It's like an American cereal, and like. 35% of my viewers, I believe, are American. But, um, I've never had a Fruit Loops or stuff like that. I mean, when I was in the States, I wouldn't be having cereal. Like, I was at the summer camp for two months. I believe they had cereal. I'm not sure which one. I think the kids would probably be fighting for the, the favorite cereal, but I don't think they had stuff like Fruit Loops. They probably had the sugary cereal, but it wasn't as big of a thing. They just had it in these, like, little box things, you know, when, like, in your own if you're in a hotel or something, they gave you the little ones like that. I think they had um, those, but I know, honestly, I never tried to get the cereal. I would just get, uh, you know, a healthy bowl of oatmeal. So they just made the oatmeal, well, I believe. Honestly, I never asked, but I think someone told me it was. I assume, you know, because of lactose intolerance, all of that, they just made the oatmeal with water. So, well, let's hope, honestly. <laughs> pretty sure. I just would always have oatmeal and then they had fruit, which was quite good. Like, usually I would be having, like, loads of fresh berries on my, um, oatmeal, but I did have, um, you know, I got to have strawberries, blueberries, all of those on the oatmeal grapes, but the only thing is that the queue, I think, for those, for everyone wanted that, like, the blueberries and the strawberries and stuff like that were longer. And then they even had sometimes like a vegan yogurt from the, there was like a uh, allergy section cart. So after a while, the person knows you and will know what your dietary thing is. Her name was Jill and she was like the person kind of in charge of the cart, but the other people were there. So when you come up to them, they know you after a while, they're like, oh, the vegan thing. <laughs> so I'd get the yogurt and like you go there for it whenever, um, if the main thing was like a meat thing on the table, you'd go there for like the, ve the vegan option, etc. Or if the main thing was pizza, and every table would have a certain amount of like pizzas, I believe, plates of pizza, we'd go over there for the vegan-y one, etc. 
etc. And also for the vegan chocolate chip cookies, all of them. Just go to the special dietary cart then. Uh, it was magic, magic place for vegans. So supermarket apples can be a year old. Wow, that is a lot. These weird facts might have you changing the way you eat. Um, those fresh apples aren't all that fresh per se. They usually picked uh, between August and November, covered in wax, hot air, dried and sent into cold storage. After 6 to 12 months, they finally land on your grocery store shelves. It's a bit, ugh. Um, and also sometimes you only see in the uh, apples in the store, you see how much wax there are in some of them, etc. So it's impossible, Tom, while holding your nose. Since you just tested that, didn't you? But I actually didn't. I'm not going to fall for one of these again. Normally, when you hum, the air is able to escape through your nose to create the sound. And of course, it can't do that when you're holding it shut. This is one of the weird facts you can test out for yourself. Go ahead. Try it. So, octopuses have three hearts. Squids do, too. One pumps blood to their whole systems, and two are dedicated just to the gills. Most wasabi-based isn't real wasabi, and honestly, from the picture, that kind of looked like mushy peas on a spoon or something. I really do like mushy peas, though. Wasabi is expensive, so most companies use a horseradish instead. Real wasabi is actually milder than what you've been getting with your sushi. So people used to say prunes instead of cheese when having their picture taken. In the 1840s, a big dare we say a cheesy grin was seen as childish, so one London photographer told people to say prunes to keep their mouths taut, and that look predated today's fish face selfie by, oh, about 180 years. So, in the Philippines, McDonald's serves spaghetti, and yeah, apparently McDonald's, the things they serve in different countries actually varies quite a bit. So, some of these weird facts are very unexpected. The pasta comes with a beef tomato sauce and a piece of McDough fried chicken. Don't say caps used to be a sign of intelligence. 13th century philosopher John Duns Scotus believed that a pointed cap would help spread knowledge from tip to the brain, and his Dunsmen followers wore them as badges, a badge of honor. In the 1500s, though, his ideas became less popular, and the meaning of the Duns cap was turned on its head, becoming something of a joke. So, Adolf Hitler was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. So, don't worry, the Swedish politician who sent the letter of nomination in 1939 meant it ironically and withdrew his nomination. An even more ironic twist, Hitler had banned Germans from accepting the awards four years before his own name was thrown into the ring. Uh, lobsters taste with their feet, so tiny bristles inside a lobster's little pincers are their equivalent to human taste buds. Meanwhile, lobsters' teeth are in one of their three stomachs. Okay. The British royal family is named after Windsor, so you think Windsor Castle was named after the House of Windsor, but it's the other way around. The royal family changed its name from Sax Coburg Gotha in 1917, so it sounded less German and chose Windsor because they had ties with the English town. Okay. Three musketeer. Yeah, I got this one before, so I might skip this one. I just hope that I haven't actually done this article before, because some of these are starting to sound familiar. Before toilet paper was invented, Americans used to use corn coughs, and I feel like we did this before. Alternatively, they used periodicals like Farmer's Almac, which was designate, designed with a hole so it could hand in outhouses. Necessity is the mother of invention, after all. The Empire State Building has its own zip code. It's home to 10118. And as well, sometimes um, I, it is Reader's Digest I'm getting this list from. So if there are some repeats, it could just be that it was on a different Reader's Digest article because I did do a one that made a few videos for me. I think it was like two or three different videos. It was 
got 300 on the list in the article, but yeah, the shortest war in history lasted 38 minutes. Pretty sure we did this as well. Well, when the Sultan of British protected Zanzibar died, a new one took over without British approval in 1896. The Brits were not happy. Tension escalated when Sultan Khalid bin Bargosh refused to step down, but the British warship spent less than 40 minutes bombarding the palace before Khalid fled, making the very quick end of the Anglo-Zanzibar War. Blue whale stuns can weigh as much as an elephant. Their hearts, meanwhile, can weigh almost a ton and needs to beat just once every 10 seconds. And that's, that's not very often at all. Once every 10 seconds would be like six beats a minute. For reference, my heart rate was quite high, or like 170 beats per minute on the run I just did. But that is quite high because I was going quite near my max. So, but everyone has different heart, max heart rates, etc. Um, and yeah, so the, the ton can weigh as much as a whole elephant. Blue whale's ton. Crazy. The world, the world's largest waterfall is underwater. Yes, there are waterfalls under the ocean. At the Denmark Strait, the cold water from the Nordic Sea is denser than the Ermigan's Sea's warm water, making it drop almost two miles down at 123 million cubic feet per second. Um, Michelangelo wrote a poem about how much he hated painting the Sistine Chapel. One translation of the poem he sent uh, to his friend begins, I've already grown a geisha, a goater from this torture, hunched up here like a cat in Lombardy, or anywhere else with a stank into water's poison. Doesn't sound like he was too thrilled with his task, but it was because the way he had to um, lie was like, he hurt his back quite a lot to paint the ceiling. So Queen Elizabeth II had to stand in to make sure the sun won't get in her eyes. Uh, Ella Slack at a similar height and stature to the Queen. Uh, so before big events, she'll do a rehearsal to avoid any royal pains. Like the sun getting in Her Majesty's eyes. Slack has been doing it for three decades but wasn't allowed to sit in the throne. So she just had to squat above it. That doesn't sound fun. Like she actually had to just squat above the chair or the throne. Excuse me. <laughs> Like, that was me one time thinking, like, oh, I actually forgot my chair. I thought I was gonna, I went back in, I was like, I forgot my chair. I'm not gonna squat for the videos. Imagine that would be a leg workout and a, a very big leg workout. Especially since I, a lot of the time, do, like, two to three videos in a row. Usually two, but I'm trying to get better at doing three, etc. Just because that means I have to film them less often. It helps me prep, etc. So, shadows are darker on the moon. On Earth, the atmosphere scatters more sunlight, so our shadows aren't too dark. But on the moon, shadows are so dark that Neil Armstrong said he had trouble seeing where he was going. Uh, some sea cucumbers fight with their guts, literally. So when threatened, they'll shoot out their internal organs, which are poisonous to predators. They'll sometimes get rid of their entire digestive systems, but the organs grow back. Okay, because I was wondering, like, isn't that harming themselves a lot? Oh my gosh, imagine. Uh, the inventor of the internet regrets the URL setup. Tim Berners Lee, who created the main software of the World Wide Web, admitted he regretted one thing, adding the forward dash, forward dash after HTTPS. Um, what is that called? You know, with the two dots. Uh, I, I forget. Anyway, in a web address, it was standard for programming, but didn't serve any real purpose. When looking back in 2009, he said leaving it out would have saved time and space. We guess we can forgive him. So, the Statue of Liberty used to be a lighthouse after, about a month after 
the statue, statue's 1886 de dedication became a working lighthouse for 16 years with a storage visible from 24 miles away. Strawberries aren't berries. We definitely have done this, but this was my fact video that was like a good while ago now. Neither are raspberries. Blackberries, according to botanists, trueberries stem from one single ovary flower and have two or more seeds. Strawberries don't fit that bill, but bananas, kiwis, and watermelons do, and it's very interesting. But we still refer to it, like I still say berries, like strawberries, all of that. We wouldn't say bananas a berry. I still like them, though. The U.S. Treasury once printed $100,000 bills between December 18th, 1934 and January 9th, 1935. The notes with Woodrow Wilson's face were issued by Federal Reserve's banks but never went out to the general public, which is probably for the best. Can you imagine losing that bill? Like $100,000. Wow. No, I cannot. A flock of ravens is called an unkindness. They're also called, known as a conspiracy, which is equally creepy. Um, NASA uses countdowns because of a sci-fi film. The countdown Fritz Lang used to create suspense in the rocket launch scene of his 1929 silent film. Frau im Mande didn't just change film history. It also inspired NASA to use countdowns before its own blast-offs. It's not exactly a race against the clock, though. NASA can feel free to pause the clock to check mechanical difficulties, and that's good because what if there was a problem that could have been prevented? And they just didn't want to pause the clock, etc. So, man hat ants are an ant species unique to New York City. Biologists found them in a specific 14-block strip of the city. That's really good, like Manhattan. Manhattan. Manhattan ants. You probably didn't need that explained, but still. Uh, fancy riding on bikes is illegal in Illinois. Uh, that includes riding without hands or taking your feet off the pedals when you're on the street. That's weird. But, um, I don't ride without hands. Like, I only ever would ride with... I can't do the no hands then. I, I can only... I'm too scared. I would only take, like, one hand at a time off the handlebar and, like, maybe to, like, do an indicate, etc. But I prefer both hands on, or at least one, but not uh, both off. <laughs> don't like that. Um, or I don't like to do the bike tricks. I've never really tried, but I'm, I'm just kind of, like... don't think I'd be, like, a skateboard kind of person. I just kind of like to ride the bike as it is, but honestly, because I've run so much, I'm not really feeling like riding the bike. <laughs> that would I have to take out like a circuit day, like I wouldn't, instead of one of my workouts, etc. So, I just want to give the legs a bit of a rest, but cycling is a good way, don't get me wrong, it's good for your, you know, aerobic fitness, all of that, or something, and it's like, good because it's like, was it no impact or low impact, because you're, you know, like running your F feet are hitting the ground and there's a lot of impact on your legs in that way but you know your feet aren't hitting the ground when you're cycling so some people that are injured and they're still training for their marathon they still have hopes that they'll um recover etc they still you know in time for the marathon etc or even not just to keep up their health they will do a lot of cycling since that won't damage their foot if they have like a foot um, injury etc or like on a bike in the gym etc uh, the world's smallest wasp is smaller than an amob amoba. I don't know how to say that, but yeah. The megafragma, my marpen wasp, has the same body parts as any other bug. Brain, winds, eyes, and more. But it is a fifth of a millimeter long, making it smaller than most amobas, which are made of just one cell. I don't know what this picture is. It's interesting for sure. Some single-celled organisms are bigger than a wasp. Two can play at this game. The call or pa alga is made of just one cell but can grow up to 12 inches long. Okay. Um, okay. Most likely stands for fake words. In the 1830s, people jokingly spelled abbreviations incorrectly. One of the most famous, uh, all correct, turned into O or L and then correct K O or or E K T. Then and then of course into OK. Uh, historians think it stuck because Mar 
Captain Van Buren, known as Old uh, Kinderhook after his hometown in New York. Supporters called themselves the OK Club when he was campaigning for re-election. Who knows? Uh, the Eiffel Tower was originally intended for Barcelona. The Spanish city thought the design was too ugly, so Gustave Eiffel pitched it to Paris instead as a temporary landmark during 1889 International Exposition. French critics didn't like it much either, though, but who knows why it's still there. <laughs> Queen, well, maybe people do, but I haven't really looked that up. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II cows sleep on waterbeds. They apparently help ease the cattle's pressure points, really. Um, Albert Einstein is an anagram for ten elite brains. Seems fit in. Um, British military tanks are equipped to make tea. Oh, we did talk about this before. Yeah, there's a boiling vessel inside, so crews can make tea and coffee anytime, including during battle. How frightfully English. I mean, it is kind of a stereotype, but I guess stereotypes are based on reality. English, the English do love a good cup of tea, and I mean, so do the Irish, etc. I'm watching Death in Paradise, and the main character, or the de detective inspector of season one, uh, when they, he went to San Marie, um, the, fr the main thing was just trying to get a good cup of tea for him. Uh, researchers once turned a live cat into a telephone. So Princeton researchers Ernest Wafer and Charles Bray took out a cat's skull and most of its brain to connect the animal to electricity. When they spoke into the cat's ear, the sound could be heard through a phone receiver in another room. The twisted experiment paved the way for cochlear implant developments. PEZ candy was invented to help smokers quit. So the Austrian the Austrian PEZ creator named the candies after the German word for peppermint. Uh, I'm not going to try and say that honestly, it's going to look kind of difficult. Um, when they were introduced in 1927, they were round mints sold in tins, so you probably wouldn't see a former chain smoker with a Mickey Mouse dispenser, oh, because that's what they are now. Uh, there's only one shell gas station shaped like a shell. So eight were built in the 1930s, but the only one left is in North Carolina. One of the many weirdest roadside attractions in every state. So when William McKinley was shot right after giving away his good luck charm, President McKinley always wore a red carnation for good luck, but sometimes gave it out as a memento. When greeting the crowd in 1901, he handed a 12-year-old girl Myrtle his the bloom of his lapel, saying, I must give this flower to another little flower. Minutes later, he was fatally shot by a man in the crowd. Uh, you can see four states from the top of Chicago's Willis Tower. From the top of the former Sears Tower on a clear day, you can see about 40 to 50 miles away beyond Illinois and out to Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. So the shortest commercial flight in the world is in Scotland. Yes, it's true. Scottish regional airline Logan Air operates the shortest commercial flight in the world between the islands West Ray and Papa West Ray, a distance of 1.7 miles, which is scheduled for 90 seconds. And we have heard this one before. There are definitely some repeats on this, but I think it's just because, not that we've done this specific list, but just in general, I've done so many videos that they're going to repeat themselves. And I remember last time I wanted to give a fight about it, but I realized that was definitely shorter. There's a flight to the islands here. Um, in Ireland, um, to the Iron Islands. I'm not sure which Iron Island. I think it's only, maybe it goes to all of them. Because there's three islands and, um, you know, some are smaller than others, so the biggest island would have more, like, facilities, etc. But boats go to all of them, so usually the typical way is to go by boat, because I assume, yeah, it's cheaper. Maybe it's also, you know, more scenic. You can see the views, and etc. But some people like to go by plane if they're in a rush or whatever, because it's like 40 minutes by boat, but it's like a seven minutes in the plane. So, yeah. My mom, my parents have actually taken the plane. I'm not sure why, but maybe, um, maybe they got a good deal, etc. I'm not sure. There's 
a reason why passports come in four colors. Here's a weird fact that might surprise you. Have you ever wondered what there is in a pink passport? The reason it is because most countries prefer dark shades of red, green, and blue, since these dark colors look more official, and if they're dirty, it's not as noticeable. Okay. And the letter Q doesn't appear in any state name. U.S. states, yeah. Out of all 50 states, not one has the letter Q in it. Okay, didn't know that. Uh, yeah, we're, I was gonna skip this one because I've done this one in a few fact videos about Scotland and the different words for snow. Uh, the world's largest national park is located in Greenland. There are a lot of weird facts that people don't know. Northeast Greenland National Park is conveniently also located on the world's largest island. This remote national park is huge at 375,000 square miles. So, uh, the Eiffel Tower took exactly two years, two months, and five days to create. There are many stunning places in France, the Eiffel Tower, um, one of the most recognize recognizable structures in the world, took a long time to make, over two years, in fact. There's an American flag on royal wedding souvenirs. So, the wedding of Prince Harry to American Meghan Markle brought much fanfare and excitement and that shows on souvenirs, including this coffee mug. Bet you didn't expect to find an American flag from this wedding, but I guess it makes sense, you know, Megan is American. Um, there are five countries in the world that don't have airports. Um, if you're a jet-setting traveler, it's hard to imagine not having an airport nearby for your next family gathering or work event. However, Vatican City, well, that does make sense. Vatican City is tiny. It's where the Vatican is in Rome. It's like, not in Rome, but like it's inside of Rome, isn't it? Um, San Marino, Monaco, Liechtenstein, and Andorra somehow make it work. Liechtenstein is also like tiny as well. Like you all, all forget it. it's a country in Europe. It's like near um, I don't know. Isn't it like near Switzerland or something? I always forget that it exists. No offense if you're from Liechtenstein. The possibility is kind of low that you're from Liechtenstein, but maybe if I get very famous, I will get some viewers from Liechtenstein. Yeah, it's between, it's like, it is besides Switzerland and Austria, like, borders, yeah. Um, yes, bleach expires. Did you know the household bleach expires? It's news to us too. This home cleaning product lasts about six months. The smallest country in the world by landmass is Vatican City. This is one of our favorite facts about Europe. The tiny country measures 0 0.02 square miles, and even prints its own map. So yeah, it makes sense. It has no airport, of course. Cars can easily reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit. You might be driving along the highway and not notice how hot your car is getting, but when you pull over for a while, your car can reach intense degrees. Uh, cucumber slices can fight bad breath. Here's a weird fact you might uh, know. Cucumbers can fight bad breath. If you don't have a mint on hand, use a slice of cucumber. Uh, the last letter added to the alphabet was actually J. You might think the letter Z is the last letter added because it's the last letter of the alphabet. That's incorrect. It's actually, actually J. The alphabet that we know and love today wasn't created alphabetically too. So, the shortest railways in the world take less than a minute. The shortest fu funicular, funicular railway is Fishersman's Walk Cliff Railway located in Bournemouth, England, and Angel's Flight located in LA. Advertises on its website that it's the shortest railway in the world. Now that your brain is filled with these weird facts, check out Okay, a different backlist, maybe another day, but yeah, I'm gonna go on to the next list and just do a few from there. So, humans have been performing dentistry since 7000 BC, which makes dentistry one of the oldest professions. The first ever documented feature film, The Story of the Kelly Can, was made in Melbourne, Australia in 1906. Ancient Roman surgeons were trained to block out the screams of human pain. Oh. 
Is that because they didn't have anesthetics or they couldn't put them to sleep, etc.? Oh, it's horrible. Uh, from 